All right, work one, work one. Good. Um, so today we're gonna, I'm just gonna show you all how to make um, Morby, Morby drink. Trini, Morby. In America here, it's summertime and summertime deserves an iced tea, but we do Morby for the hot weather. You drink Morby with rum punch, punching, wherever. You drink it by itself with some ice, there's the thing. So, right? So, here I have, you have your Moby back. It's just like a real bit, bitter part from a tree. I guess it's a Moby tree. <laughs> I really don't know. I've never seen the tree. i just seen it back. Um, and when I say back, I don't mean roof, roof. I mean bark. Okay? For those who understand, don't understand tree. This here is the anise. Real full of flavor right here so i love to use this star anise plus cinnamon my favorite so about two sticks of cinnamon and then i just put in a little cloves i don't want too much of cloves because i don't want that extra bitter flavor as with this morby back it there's a lot of um bitterness already coming from it and then here i have all faithful bay leaf you know it looking battered and bruised but it will do the trick don't worry yourself and then my favorite you must pile a ginger in this ginger right and the end i will top it off with angostura bitters and then some sugar i'm using four liters of water i'm gonna put that on to hot now so just put the all the ingredients and it's gonna just dump it right in the action right so everything and you just let this boil for as long as you want <laughs> it will reduce 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 the longer you reduce it is the more concentrate the more pungent the more bitter the more high in um health benefits you're gonna get if it don't sweetness especially for if you are diabetic it's gonna be the best for you but we cannot drink this without any sugar so we'll be adding sugar later okay so when it's at a boil i get back to you right so this is the morby after it has boiled for about 20 minutes i right, came to a boil it bubbled up to the top you see the line there where it came all the way up and bubbled up and now i just put it on low to be able to you know just bubble in a little more and get concentrated because i'm not ready to take it out at this point yet i wanted to get a little more darker in color so I want the flavors to really, really, really um, seep out of this and, and on top of this, I, I'm going to leave it, let it sit in the water and cool. So that's going to make it even more bitter. Right? You're not get, usually you'll get a smell from this, but you're not going to smell right now because the ginger and all the other spices actually having the smell of the morbi back itself kind of dormant. So that's a plus to me because I kind of feel bleh when I am. Um, boil it more we normally so okay so it's just about right for me you see the color has darkened a lot and it's a lot more fruity so this is where i'm going to actually turn off the heat and just let it sit and simmer and cool and just let the flavors um infuse into the the morby water um one thing i forgot to tell you sometimes well, most times I shouldn't say sometimes but most times I add a nutmeg to it, so I'm going to actually, because I don't have the whole nutmeg to put in it, I'm just going to sprinkle some nutmeg powder into it here, right? So you only need like about a, a teaspoon of nutmeg powder um, to add an extra Caribbean flavor. I'm all about the Caribbean. Yes, right? <laughs> so blend things you see, I have nutmeg powder, cinnamon, and bay leaf, clove. That's just me, you know. I don't know if it's anybody else in Trinidad, but that's just me especially. I like that kind of spice aisle finish. All right, so I'm just gonna put the nutmeg in here, let it cover it, let it sit and kind of seep. And then when it cooled down, you know, you can leave it, you can leave it overnight to see. Um, I may, I may actually leave it overnight because it don't make sense. I don't, I'm not ready for it right now. And then I'll put the sugar and I'll bottle it out. Yeah. All right. So we're back, and this is your product of it seeping 
overnight it's darkened I can barely even get a good light in to show you Be careful baby right and all I'm gonna do is I have a some sugar in a mug here you don't have to put sugar but we can take the um bitterness bitterness and we're just gonna pour this in there that's it all right don't want to get none of the other stuff in there so gonna pour this in there and that's it so we want at least almost you know what it's dirty no definitely with a little bit it of dirty it will always have what we call home drinks and then i'll give that a stir but you know we're gonna top this up with some water back up to four liters because from four liter from this four liter mug it has gone down to uh, let me see I, I think about two liters oh exactly so two liters right so from four liters it boiled down to two liters so we get a two liter wood concentrate of juice and we're gonna bring it back up with some more water and saw it in bottles smell good i want oh, to i want to bottle. drink some yeah to drink this. <laughs> Way of looking your nose for. So right guys, there you have it, the Morbi. I done bottle it out already in a four liter <laughs> bottle. And here you're gonna see I composing the um actual drink for myself with some Bacardi Gold Rum. Yes, some rum head. <laughs> <laughs> She add water and a block Here of ice. I go again. <laughs> <laughs> so they said the better the better. Um, you see, before then I didn't like it. Most kids won't like it unless you put real sugar. So, but it's supposed to be healthy for you guys. It's good for arthritis and good for high cholesterol. You know, it lowers the cholesterol level. This here is not a glass of beer denier. This is actually the Moby. Okay? It's Moby. Ooh. And I'm going to add it in now. Okay. So I have a glass of ice. I'm going to add some Bacardi, some Moby, and a shot of bitters. Same way you can do with your drink when you, you know, you're making it. You top it off a little, a little bitters and a little cinnamon powder and you're, you're good to go. I'll go show a little thing just now.